Okay, so this is my testimony. I am newly saved as of um, February, mid-February, February 13th is when I met Jesus. And I have not wanted to make this video. I've made a couple videos. The first one was like way too long. It was an hour and I'll try to make this one short. Um, but, and also just because it's, um, I just don't, didn't want to, <laughs> um, I needed, I guess, to be nudged in the direction, um, and God keeps putting it on my heart to share my testimony, and so that's what this is. Um, in early February, so I'll just get right into it, um, I was really struggling. I have three kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I work from home. I don't have a ton of friends where I live. I don't have um, a family support system. Um, I So it's all basically on me and my husband. I have my husband, but he works a lot. And so it's all on me and in a lot of ways and I was eight, uh, postpartum eight months postpartum um, with my son or nine months maybe um, with my son and I was really struggling and I had dealt with like postpartum depression before with um, a previous, my pre one of my previous pregnancies. And this time it was different though because I wasn't getting a relief. Um, it was, a, I was just constantly struggling. I felt like I was drowning in all the responsibilities I had. And I would try, I would try to get help from people, um, but even, even the help that I was getting, it just wasn't enough. I, I was drowning. I couldn't handle it. Um, I, I got to the point where I just didn't want to exist anymore. Um, I, it wasn't even like a, like a suicidal thing. Like I, I didn't want to leave my kids. I didn't want to leave my husband. I have a very good life. Uh, very, I'm very lucky for the life that I have. Um, but internally I couldn't do it anymore. I just, I was being weighed down. I, I felt like I was sinking and I couldn't breathe. And um, so I got to the point in February, it was, I had a dream and in my dream, there was like a swarm of locusts that like flew up into the sky and it was this, just this massive black cloud of locusts and they just like started swarming down and you, they were like pelting the ground like rocks, like they were like, it was loud and everybody was freaking out and I'm like hiding under this table like looking at them like as I'm like catching them in my hand and just like what is going on and I, I wake up and I just remember I vividly remember that dream so much so that I'm like telling my husband about it I texted a friend about it and they were like what do you think it means and I'm like probably means I need Jesus like I was like joking around and just for a backstory um I'm not a religious person I grew up um, at a very young age in the Catholic Church. So I went to communion, Sunday school a few times, but that was all when I was very young. In my adult life, I never actively participated in church um, other than like when like relatives that are religious would invite me or my family, we would do stuff then. Um, but I'm not a religious person. I would say I was like a spiritual person in like new age, like I would do yoga and I would meditate and I was into Buddhism. And if it was secular, then like that was more my speed. I wasn't, I actually loathed religion um, in a lot of ways. And 
also, I was, I'm not going to pick a side. I'm going to, like, I'm, I was on the fence. I was like, I, I believe in all gods. Like, why can't everybody have their beliefs and those be okay? And those be true. And I came to the conclusion um, that that was what reality was for me. And I was fine with that. And um, so I had this dream and I'm jokingly like saying to my friend like, oh, it means I need Jesus and um, mocking him really by making like saying that. And then I'm super sick. So I get super sick like around the same time I have this dream and I'm sick for like the entire month and um, of February and mid-February, February 13th, which was the Super Bowl. I, that was when I just reached my limit. I couldn't take it anymore. I just like didn't, I, everything was coming down on me and I felt like just this weight pulling me and pulling me and I couldn't handle it anymore. I, I wanted out and I was at the, a, a breaking point, a pivotal point where I'm like sitting on my bed just crying and I didn't know what to do. And I hear like this small voice say, like, just pray. And so I'm like, I'm gonna pray. I can pray. I'll I'll pray somewhere where I felt strong. I had my um I had a home birth. So I knelt. I actually had a like delivered my baby next kneeling next to the bed. So I knelt I um kneeled down there and uh, because I had felt strong when I had my home birth and I wanted to feel strong again. So I was like, I'll kneel down next to the bed and in a place where I have felt strong because I feel so weak right now. <laughs> and I just said, Jesus. And the minute, the second I said, Jesus, I like, it was like a light like went off in my mind. I was like, I've never prayed to Jesus before. I've always, always been like, no, I believe in God, but Jesus is not, no. And I, when I said that, I was like, there's a part of me that must know. And the fact that I kind of just said it in my time of need, it, it, it meant something to me. And so I did. I continued the prayer and I said, Jesus, I need your help. I, I need your strength. I need your guidance. I need you. Help me. And it was like... All the darkness that was just absolutely consuming me, it was just like, like just, I just felt like a million times lighter. It was like the weight of the world that I was really carrying, like all, like all the responsibilities, the, um, the not taking care of myself and taking care of the people around me, the like working and, and school and the broken relationships and all of the pain and like when you're upset how you like you dig up the past and just all everything all the the mud the muck the the darkness that was consuming me just whew, wiped away gone and I felt lighter and I still was like okay, like, just, like, it was very, just, what just happened, um, and I kind of just, like, was okay, like, I feel a lot better, I'm gonna go hang out, so I was, I was, like, on my phone, and I'm, um, very into, uh, nutrition, and so I was, like, checking out someone's um stories uh, on Instagram and they happen to have a video talking about the Super Bowl and how it's like this um demonic 
uh, ritual that people are participating in and they don't even realize that I was, I don't know why, because I normally don't like click that kind of stuff. And I also, I, I, I don't know why it was really on like the account that I was following, but um, I was curious about it. I won't watch the Super Bowl. I don't watch the Super Bowl. I don't care about sports really, but I was like, huh, like, let's check this out. And so I start watching it and like, there was just this level of awareness, like where things started like clicking, things were making sense. It's kind of like when you learn something and people keep trying to explain to you like, okay, this, this is what it means. This is what it means. Like, um, what would be a good example? Um, like maybe you struggle with like loving yourself and um people will say like oh sticking up for yourself that's a better example because everyone really is like just loves himself um and you you don't understand like you don't know like how to stick up for yourself and then you like come to and then you keep trying and you keep trying and then finally like it just clicks like okay like this is how I do it. This is what I need to do. And it makes sense. Just it all makes sense. Maybe it's a math problem. Maybe, maybe it is loving yourself. I don't know. Like maybe it, it could be applied to anything, but just that moment, that aha moment where it just, it makes sense. And there's clarity. I had that aha moment while I'm watching this video where like these, these symbols and this um this darkness that is just consumes the world that we live in yeah I, I understand I knew and I understood that the world was evil and there's bad and but the the level of what evil is in this world compared to my understanding of what evil is in the world it's there was a there was clarity I'd be watching like videos with my kids and it would be like um like uh, my kids have watched Bruno and they've watched or not Bruno sorry well that's what I'm getting to but they've watched Luca and there's this character named Bruno who when they're about to do something like dangerous he's in there he's that voice in their head telling them not to and they um that new movie on Disney where there's this character Bruno who's like a like a a prophet a doom seeing prophet and he um, is really trying to help his family, but they're, they cast him out and they deny him. And, but he's still, he's still there trying to like bring them together. Um, and just like these like small little connections or just like, it was like a spider web, like just all, like all of these little like sparks and like people say that you it just, it was like my brain finally lit up and I understood uh, and there was, the veil was lifted. I've heard that before and that's what it felt like. I felt brand new. I felt like a my heart felt different. I saw the world differently. Um, I felt reborn and I under, my husband joked and was calling me like a born again Christian and it wasn't until I like because I didn't have a religious background. It wasn't until I read the Bible and read about being born again and um, looked up like what it means to be born again. And I was like, that's exactly what I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm born again. I was in an environment. I was I was living like in this environment the same as you do in your mom's womb. And you you get used to that being your reality. You think that's your reality. And then once you come into this new world, once you are born again, you see the world around you is completely different than anything you knew before and you have an absolutely different understanding and all of that is thanks to Jesus it was because of him that I was pulled up and all of that weight that I had was taken away and I was given a new a new new eyes. I was given a new heart. I was given this level of understanding that I didn't have before and just the 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 love. This it's no person is capable of the love that God has 
and he gives it freely. Uh, you feel, it wasn't until after I was saved that the, um, the me realizing all of the mistakes that I, because I considered myself a good person, all of the things that I had done in life, um, I consider my, myself a good person now. Um, I have done my fair share of wrong in life. A, a very, um, I had a very rough childhood. I had, it, it just, it got worse and worse and worse up until basically I had my first child when I like was 21. Before then, I was not a good person. I wasn't a good person. I didn't live a, a good or righteous life. I I thought after that I was a good person. I thought I had changed so many things. I, I, I stopped using drugs. I, I changed my life. I, like, I just completely 180. Once I found out I was pregnant, 180 changed my life. And I thought I was like doing so good. And then you you when you don't have when each person makes themselves god and defines what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is evil then it's really easy for everybody to say i'm a good person but when somebody else is telling you this is what's right and this is what's wrong morally and that's written on our heart because you know it's wrong to steal you know it's wrong to lie we you know it's wrong to um to cheat or to murder we know these things are wrong and there's a reason for that and um it wasn't until I started to just like see the truth and then but that also made me able to see the truth about myself and um I thank God for that I thank God for the fact that I have been wrong I am wrong in a lot of ways and he shined the light on on it and I'm now able to work towards changing that I'm I'm able to make myself better in ways that I can help other people and if I just settled with I'm a good person I'm good enough then where's the progress even if it was like me saying like I have things, I have goals I want to work on. I have things I want to work on. To whose benefit? Just to me? I just, without God coming into my life and saving me, I would have drowned. I couldn't, I couldn't do life on my own again. I can't imagine going back to how I felt before knowing his love. I can't imagine, and I just, and I get people how they like get in your face about religion and they get in your face about Jesus. You need to know Jesus, you need to understand him. I understand like where they're coming from. It, I have to get my kid. I, um, they, they're coming from a place of love. You see people walking towards the end of a waterfall. They're walking, they're walking off a ledge and you feel like you're in a dream and you're shaking people like, get up, wake up. I don't want you to walk over the edge. Let me help you. And they're just like, get out of my face. I want to walk where I want to walk and let me take steps how I want to take steps. And you're just like, no, I want to help you. Please stop. And you're trying to explain what you go through, but it's the same as if you're like trying to explain someone this like super epic dream you had. It just falls flat. I could tell you about this dream I had about locusts, but it, all it's gonna sound like is however it sounds in your head. It's just, it's not gonna be anywhere near as detailed and um, full of, of life and uh, feeling and emotion as it was for me to experience. And I want you to experience it. I want you to experience God's love. I want you to understand that he loves you, whoever you are, no matter who you are. It's not this judgment. It's not all about this judgment and this like 
criticism. It's about love. And once you bring that in, once you let God in, let you once you let Jesus in, that love, it, it fills up your cup and it overflows onto the on the people around you. And we're all searching for that, aren't we? Before where I was that's what I was searching for. I would meditate and I'd read I'd read tons of books and I would try and eat healthy and I would try and work out. I was trying to better myself so that I could help the people around me and it wasn't working and I was like, "Why?" Because we need Jesus. We need him to be a part of who we are because without him we're lost. We need his guidance and him to lead us and to go, I can't, I just, it's a level of love and caring and faith that I wish for everybody. I, I would hate to go back and experience life before knowing Jesus. It would be hell. It would be hell and I don't I hope I hope everybody if you're open to it um, just consider that maybe you're not only good that maybe you've made mistakes and that there is somebody in the world that wants and in the heavens that wants to help you and love you. <laughs> and um, that's, that's my testimony. That's, I don't know. That's my experience of coming to know Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I hope that you experience that too soon. <laughs> All right, God bless.